Welcome aboard the Colt Express. Today, we're going to look at Ghost, whose special ability makes him the sneakiest of all the characters, but requires a lot of subtlety to play well. So we're going to do a playthrough and give you some ideas on how to play Ghost here on Legendary Tactics. Now, Ghost's ability is viewed by some as being extremely strong, perhaps overpowered, uh, I see I see Bell more in that category myself, but there's no question it is a great great ability, and that is that the first card you play uh, onto the deck will be face down. So essentially, you get a tunnel turn uh, every single turn at the beginning, unless you take three cards uh, at, right off the top uh, as your first action. You don't get that ability on a later card. So. For me, um, I would never take three cards as a first uh, action with Ghost. Um, and my favorite use of that first card is a movement card. Um, I think that that gives you not only the most um, flexibility, but it makes you very unpredictable. So for Ghost, I think um, generally speaking, you want to use a movement card on that first uh, play. Um, another alternative might be, say, uh, a sheriff card or 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 something that you can use to surprise right that's the whole point of a tunnel turn is to surprise the uh, the your, the enemy or surprise your opponents now i don't know playing against an ai to, in theory the computer already knows what your card is um, i'm not sure how it or if it actually affects play so <clears throat> if 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 that's the the case i mean I, if you're playing solo games I mean, you can play Ghost for fun, obviously, but um, but I would probably choose any other character um, under that under that assumption um, that the <laughs> that the computer's kind of cheating there and taking a look at your face down card. So um, in this uh, in this game, I was uh, uh, mainly just looking to um, to get some uh, some jewels and then get moving, uh, get on the roof, do some shooting, going after the gunslinger ward uh, for sure. Um, Bell, oddly, uh, doesn't get any payback, just pays it forward to poor Django, uh, who gets shot for apparently no reason. Uh, but anyway, um, the round two is going to be interesting because there's two double moves, and I only have one loot um, uh, card. It would have been absolutely perfect if I'd had a sheriff card, and, uh, and then could have moved down and, and grabbed the strong box, but... Um, but it's interesting because with me as, as first player, I'm going to get a rare opportunity to knock some treasure out of Bell's hands. And because I know everyone's going to be on the roof and uh, so forth, I'm going to take my shot now. Because until that sheriff moves, I really can't do as much as I'd like to. So, um, so I'm going to shoot and move. Unfortunately, there's not much else I can do. Um, but with the view of setting up a loot at some one of the cars towards the back... Um, and get into you know one of the, either one of those cars so that I can uh, set up a loot for next turn. So uh, get a rare shot at uh, at Bell here, um, and this is it's always interesting at low player counts um, because I think Ghost is Ghost's ability is great at any player count. I don't think it really matters, but um, but uh, and we end up punching each other around here, and I lose my gem, which is really frustrating. But that's the game, and I definitely got my revenge there. So, um, and again, if you, as I've said in other uh, videos, if you're if you're going for the gunslinger award, go early. You want to be um, you want to be the leader early and stay ahead. There's only five rounds, so you don't wait until the fourth round before you start going for the gunslinger award. You want to make it a priority if you have the cards in hand. Make it a priority early on. And uh, as a, you know, as we've said before as well, um, getting bullet cards like Bell, Bell just did there is uh, a, a much larger dent detriment the earlier in the game that it happens. So the more you load them up with, with uh, bullet cards, then the less they're going to uh, be able to do things, and they're going to have to draw their three cards more often. So, um, so I'm just going to loot here. It's too bad there's a sheriff card. It would have been perfect if I'd been. Uh, um, on the on the roof of the locomotive, but as it is, um, I see the sheriff card now as a defensive card. If Bell tries to move the sheriff away, 
Um, I'm gonna move uh, him right back. So I call, call him the sheriff. He's a marshal. I guess that makes a difference. Um, but anyway, that, I see it more as a defensive card. Now there is a, a tunnel, so I don't know exactly what Bell's gonna do. And that, again, that reinforces if you've ever been confused about ghosts, uh, how to use ghosts' ability well. Um, then this is uh, a perfect example. Uh, anytime you go through a tunnel, and you don't know what the opponent's gonna is gonna is up to, uh, then it's a, a a really it's really sets off your plans. You really can't uh, predict with any certainty where they're gonna be, what they're gonna be doing, and uh, that's exactly why that uh, why that uh, is such an effective um, part of this game as a programmed movement uh, kind of thing. Um, too, too bad I only had one loot card. I would have loved to have just stayed there and just collected, but um, I'm going to get on the roof, go for another uh, shot with the gunslinger um, while I can. Um, Django's going to grab some loot, so obviously I had there, but I'm going to load him up with another bullet card, see how that, uh, if that can make a difference. Um, sometimes it, it low player counts are always really interesting in this game because it's uh, in, in one hand it's a little easier to plan um, but you the the enemies have less targets so you know if you're if you're a like you'll never get a better opportunity to uh, hand bell um, some bullet cards as I did and then she continues to pay it forward I don't know what she's got against Django poor guy uh, he didn't do anything <laughs> I'm the one that caused all the trouble um, but it's there's just fewer targets, and so you're probably going to take more bullets. You're probably going to um, have more, um, you know, receive more punches, that sort of thing. It's going to be, you know, a little more chaotic that way. Uh, certainly from an individual's perspective, although there are also uh, less people to worry about. So um, anyway, I, I I moved the sheriff back right under Bell with the hopes that uh, you know. Or at least just to protect that uh, that treasure there. I don't want to give her... That's a lot of treasure. You could just sit there and win the game with one gem and four money bags. All you'd have to do is just uh, loot and punch all day long and you'd be set. Now, I don't have any sideways movement. I would love to get into the into the locomotive and grab that strong, bo strong box. But I'm just going to have to kind of play it safe and, and hope that the sheriff doesn't... Uh, move over as you know a couple tunnel cards here so i'm not able to be sure and and again sometimes in this game you just have to you know be bold do what you do what you are trying to do uh because um there's no guarantee your opponents have the cards they need when they need them and so uh you may find that uh it's you know it's perfectly fine to uh, just go in, grab the strong box. You know, there may be no cards that are going to prevent you. Maybe they, the your opponents didn't have the sheriff cards they needed, or marshal cards. Sorry, the marshal kicks down the door, and Bell countered me perfectly. Um, the bullet card I received is likely not going to play much of a role, but the fact that I was trying to grab some loot absolutely will. On the plus side, I have get locked up the uh, the gunslinger award. So um, right now, that is. Uh, um, that's a lock. There's no way they can catch up. Certainly, certainly not Django. They have to um, shoot every card, and I don't know if there's that many. If they can, ever, if that's even possible. So that that's the good news. We we are locked up that way. Um, but uh, we keep. Uh, they, see that card was supposed to be going back up on the roof. Um, I ended up in the right place, but yeah. Uh, anyway, um, so now last round, my goal is just as as much as possible to knock treasure out of people's hands um, you know and and uh, uh, basically I don't I have one looting card so I'm gonna make sure to grab some loot um, but uh, I'm gonna have to maybe play it safe here I don't know if going for the strong box is a viable option um, but it, with with a li little bit more loot I think I can I can lock this down uh, for the win so um, I'm going to move the uh, I, you know I'm gonna essentially move my uh my guy and I, i'm i'm playing this that card i love playing movement cards and sheriff cards in uh in a, any tunnel turn and that includes ghost's first turn uh of every round just because it gives me the most flexibility what's great about the movement card is that you don't have to decide where you're going to move before you play the card um, i wasn't sure where to where to put django but put him back at the caboose or up there with bell 
um, I decided I would put him away from the, the, the good treasure spaces as much as possible and uh, grab some loot, which worked out perfectly. Um, so, uh, yeah, the, but that's my basic plan here is to just, uh, you know, grab a bit of loot um, where I can and, uh, and then uh, play the movement cards. And now I've got some choices. I can retreat away from um, the characters or I can stay right in, in close. Um, and so the sheriff moves uh, away from the, the locomotive. Obviously, Bell is setting up a, uh, you know, an opportunity to steal the strong box. Um, we'll see if she pulls that off. I'm going to move the sheriff back. I was hoping to um, be moving the sheriff into the locomotive with that move, but I was foiled by Bell. Bell has, uh, decides to shoot Django yet again, um, and that means that she will not be able to steal the strong box, um, which is uh, which is great. And uh, Ghost pulls off a very a strong win, um, mainly through the gunslinger bonus, but uh, I think it's it, it all works. So, as I said, the the, the best ability uh, for Ghost is to I think play movement cards on your first uh, turn of every round, and that should set you up, give you a lot of flexibility, and uh, make your follow-ups uh, tough to contextualize in the basis of the the rest. Uh, so anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you so much for watching. This is Legendary Tactics.